I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Back a year ago. Friday. Today's vlog started off with a leg day workout. That was actually the last workout of the week, so that's exciting. But now um, I've got to cook. I've got, this is not sponsored by the way, but I've got to unpack our HelloFresh. We've been doing HelloFresh for probably like a month and we're loving it. Um, I'm gonna cook some quesadillas for lunch. Um, so hopefully that is quick, but um, yeah, I'm gonna unpack this really quick as well so that I can get this into the fridge. Um, and then today's gonna be a pretty chill day. I'm just going to be reading probably and relaxing, maybe doing some editing. I know that um, I need to catch up on some vlogs cause I can finally like, I don't know, I finally feel like I'm in the headspace again to get those videos up. Uh, the last one, the, the one that is like ready to go and has been ready to go was filmed before um, all the apartment stuff happened. So it's kind of nice to see my books for one last time in that vlog. But yeah, so um, that video is hopefully went up today. I need to do the thumbnail, I think is all I need. And then um, continue editing last week's vlog. So I'm gonna do that as well today so I can get caught up. I also want to film some other stuff, but um, I do wanna read. I am currently reading still House of Sky and Breath. I haven't really read it all week because I've like had things to do in the evening so I haven't had time, but I think I'm like 200 pages in. So I wanna make it like a dent in it today and just kind of try to read as much as I can. I really wanna try to get through that one quickly as well so that I can get to this one, which just came out, The War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armitrout. Um, this is the fourth book in the um, Blood and Ash series. 
and I'm really excited. I wasn't a fan of A Crown of Gilded Bones. That was my least favorite, and that one was really hard to get through, and I'm pretty sure that one put me in a reading slump, but I really, really loved the spinoff series. Um, the first book came out in September, I think, and it was A Shadow in the Ember, and loved that one so much. Excited to see what's in this one, I feel like. I don't know, I'm sorry to see like a lot of like mixed things online, which I don't really know why, I don't want to know why, obviously, because I don't want to get spoiled. So, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to start this one, mostly because House of Sky and Breath is 800 pages and that's gonna take me some time to get through. So it's a little bit later in the day. It is 5.40ish. And right now I'm just finally making dinner. I am so hungry. I have one of those hunger headaches um, because all I had so far today was the quesadilla and I was supposed to have a smoothie at like three, but I was doing all the YouTube stuff. So I was just working basically. Um, so yeah, now I'm cooking. So right now I'm just making some sausage. Yum. So I'm making that. I need to figure out what side I'm doing. Um, we have rice. I could wrap it up in tortilla and make it like a taco. Or I think I have... Yes, I do. I have a Easy Mac pack as well. So I might, I might just do that because I feel like that's going to be easier. I got a lot done. I'm so excited. So I got the vlog uploaded. I'm trying some new stuff out with my thumbnail. Just trying to figure out like what I like and what I want to spend time doing. I was pretty lazy about my thumbnails, but I've always wanted to do cute thumbnails and just put a little bit more effort into them so i'm gonna try so if y'all see like different thumbnails that's why i'm trying to figure out like what i want to do what i want the aesthetic of my page to be i already redid like my banner for youtube and things like that so i'm really excited with how it's coming together but yeah so i finished editing the tbr which is great. I just needed to do like a final watch through and then do the thumbnail and that'll be good to go on Sunday, which is my goal to get that up on Sunday. Um, and then, I don't know. I feel like I need to film another video next week, but yeah, I kind of want to do more editing on my um, next vlog that's going up. 
but I probably am done with YouTube stuff for today. So I'm gonna eat and then I'm going to hop on some sprints with my friend and start getting some of House of Sky and Breath knocked out today. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. I do need to do dishes at some point. Um, so probably during one of my sprints, I'll do dishes really quick and kind of clean up the kitchen a bit because it is kind of messy from cooking earlier. So I'm gonna do that. And then I also need to put in a grocery order because we're going hiking tomorrow. And we don't really have like snacks to take on the hike or anything like that. So I'm gonna order some of that. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So we are going to this place in Texas called Lost Maples. Apparently it's really, really beautiful. I've never been there. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you real quick like what we're taking. I've got some fun snacks in here for like the road trip. Um, and then I got the stuff for the wraps. So for like fun stuff, I don't know if y'all have ever had these, but these are my favorite fruit snacks ever. And they're the Scooby-Doo ones. I feel like such a child, but these are so freaking good. I don't just, Love them. Had to get them. I <laughs> got some goldfish. I feel like a child right now. Um, I did get some granola bars for the actual hike itself. We're going to take those like with us so we have something while we're there. And then again for the uh, like the car ride, I just got some Pringles. I, I didn't really want Pringles, but I also wanted something that was going to be easy to like eat in the car, especially for me while I'm driving. And I figured just sticking this in the cup holder was going to be super easy. So I got sour cream and onion and then just the original. Um, that's it for the snacks. So we are going to do wraps. Why do these look smaller? I think these are not what I wanted, but for... I just got these wraps. I wanted bigger ones, but we'll just make multiple. That'll be fine. So these are like low carb flour tortillas. So I got those. Um, I got a Caesar salad kit because we're gonna be doing Caesar salad wraps. And then I got some chicken, some deli chicken that we can put in there. And then I bought these little snack packs. So they're turkey sausage. This one has cheddar cheese, and then this one has pepper jack cheese. So I thought those would be easy to just kind of throw in our lunchbox to take with us. Um, and then for tonight, I'm, mm, I felt like being bad. So I got myself a tres leches because I don't know, I just needed it tonight. So that's all I got at the store. So I'm gonna really quick put this up and then I'm gonna show y'all the bookish box that I got. Okay, so like I said, this is the bookish box. This is the one for February. Um, Y'all are a little slightly too far. That's fine. Okay, so this is the one for February. I never showed y'all the one for January, but it was really, really pretty. Um, I ended up putting that one in the like packed books, so I don't, I don't have it to show y'all. But it was really, really pretty. I don't even remember what book it was, but I just remember it was really gorgeous. Um, so, I love how well the, they pack their books all the time. Um, just for, as a reminder, I do only get the book. Um, I don't get the full box just cause I don't need all the knickknacks and stuff. So just been doing the box and it does always come in this cute little bookish box sleeve with a little typewriter. It's very well packaged if you just get the book option. I don't know how it is for the rest. Um, so the book for, Jesus is cool. The book for February was Electric Idol by Katie Robert. This is like really cool. It's got black sprayed edges. Um, it does have some stenciling right there. But man, this is super cool. It, I love how like different it is than the normal cover this is super different but it still has like the the neon in it and stuff so this is really really cool and then on the back it has just a little quote i don't know i don't know what um my camera's focusing on but it's got really beautiful end pages 
And then under the cover, it's really pretty. It's the same print under the cover as it is like on the outside. It's just this really pretty pink. So that's the book. Whoa. This is cool. So this is the inside of the dust jacket. Very gorgeous. Absolute love it. Really excited to read this book at some point. I do have um, just like a, like my regular normal paperback that I'm gonna read from, so I'm not gonna read from this edition. But it's really, really pretty. Um, I'm hoping that they put out like the, um, the Neon Gods link soon, because we're supposed to be able to buy Neon Gods in a matching edition. And I haven't heard anything about it, and I'm kind of like hoping that I haven't missed it but i just i haven't haven't heard anything about it so it is really late Time to, uh, nine nine okay okay it's nine we wanted to be there at nine so we're really really behind um right now we're just making the wraps real quick and then we're gonna head out i think that's all we have left to do so we're gonna get it done real quick get out of here and head off to the hike spot but it's like an hour and a half drive a little bit over no idea what traffic's gonna be like at this time there, there's gonna be any so yeah. hmm? Looks Looks like. Like. Yeah. okay cool well do you know i'm gonna do this i'll show y'all what i'm wearing I'm wearing black leggings because why not? And then I've got these, <laughs> what are these? Timberlands you said? Timberlands, yeah. Timberlands that I bought for work. I have a sticker on it. Oh. But yeah, I bought these for work so I could go to site visits and I was like, you know what? I'll just wear them on the hike. Gotta break them in at some point. Um, and then I'm just wearing a crop top under i have a like crop that is like a bra just in case i get hot and then it's kind of cool right now so i'm bringing this let's go over it layers layers are important in texas because we have like 40 degree changes degree changes in one day so that's what i'm doing so i will yeah i'll let you all know how it goes i'll add in some clips from the hike as much as I can. I'm not bringing this camera. I'm gonna hopefully do it for my phone just cause obviously I don't wanna be carrying this around. But yeah, let's do it.
at this really, really steep part. Although it's not steep to Peter. Hi. Because he hiked in Colorado. So he's over here fine. And I'm just like <laughs> dying. So we stopped, I think, halfway up so I could get some water. But I'm dead. This is fun, though. It's really beautiful out here. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Time to finish the second half of this hill. I make it my ankle actually started hurting so it kind of sucks but um <laughs> snack and it's two weeks snack time um he he secretly likes it but i thought i would show y'all where we're taking a little picnic um Okay, we made it down. Uh, that was kind of hard because uh, my knees suck. But we were all the way no, up there. I'm gonna go over here. Show them from here. Oh, okay. A bunch of trees. Yeah, there's a bunch of trees in the way. I kind of walked to a bad point, but yeah, I survived. We did three and a half miles, and we were way up there so success now i'm gonna throw her in that lake over there yeah there's a lake here now we're just making our way back to the truck and we're gonna eat our wraps that we made i was telling him we found this really pretty that really pretty spot and i wish we would have taken our meal up there but there was no way we were all gonna there. lug all that up there um Maybe next time we can bring some like lighter containers, but we have like a glass container. So that's that's it. I have no idea how like far to the parking lot, but I'm assuming it's not that far. But first hike done. It's my um, practice one before we go to Colorado at some point this year. I might need a few more practice runs though. Just saying. Okay guys, so it is a Sunday morning and it's about nine. We are about to leave to take the dogs to the dog park. They need it really bad. So we're gonna go do that this morning and let them run around for a bit. Um, and then after that, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. I know that we were thinking of getting like pedicures after our hike yesterday, cause I need one and Peter's never had one. I'll try to bring y'all along for as much as I can, but um, I feel like today is going to be definitely a more chill day than yesterday was.
817 and we just got back home um i have a bit of a haul for y'all because we went to the mall and we kind of went on a bit of a shopping spree because we had some gift cards and then we won some things so i'm gonna show y'all everything that we got today and it's gonna be a fun time so the first place well not the first place we went but one of the places we went was Bath and Body Works. The candles were $12.95 and I had a 25% off coupon. So I decided to get some, some of their spring candles and some of our favorite scents that we've liked over the past couple of weeks. Um, we did get a free gift as well. So this is for Peter. He just got the hand cream in the ocean. And then I got three candles this time so the first one i got was white tea and sage this is one i actually found last summer i believe and absolutely loved it it's one of my favorites now and really excited to have another one i actually i think i might have still have one but really excited the other one, we actually just found this one last time we went to Bath and Body Works. And this one is called Endless Weekend. And we absolutely love this. We found this one last time they were having a sale. So got another one. The only new one that we got was this Deep Blue Sea. This one, this one smells super good. And of course it's blue. Couldn't pass it up. So these are our three kind of like spring and summery scents that we're gonna be um, burning pretty soon. Then I went to, what should I do next? Oh, <laughs> then I went to Costco. This was actually a separate trip. But we got a food scale because we're gonna start cutting for the next, how long are we doing it? Eight weeks. Eight weeks, we're gonna do eight week cut right before summer. So we're gonna start um, weighing our food, or rather Peter is, because he's done it before and he's gonna show me how to do it. So we got a new scale from Costco, highly recommend. It was super cheap. Um, it was on sale, but even like not on sale, it's pretty cheap. Um, so we're excited to have that uh, in our collection so that we can successfully do our fitness stuff. Then we also went to H&M. I wanted some new sweatpants um, because Peter bought me a pair of sweatpants for Christmas and a sweatshirt from H&M that I absolutely love. They're my favorite. Highly recommend that if you're looking for like some cheap sweats, uh, like sweat sets, uh, highly recommend going to H&M and looking in the men's section because they're more comfortable than the women's collection in my opinion. So I got a sweatshirt in this like blue gray color Peter wanted this color but I found the correct size first um, in my defense he picked an extra large first and I was like you know what now nah, I'm gonna stick with a large and I was able to find a large in a different section and then he was like wait I want a large too but there was another one <laughs> so I kind of feel bad um, I got another no, you don't. color I feel a little bad. Um, I got a second color and it's more of like this greenish gray color, I would say. Um, and I go size large in these so they fit oversized. And then I got two pairs of sweatpants. Um, so I got just this like cream colored one and then I got this blue gray one. It is a different blue gray than the sweatshirt a little, like slightly, this, the sweatshirt's lighter, but still super comfy. So those are my new like reading clothes because I love putting on some sweatpants and snuggling up on the couch. So I got those and I think I'm now set on sweat sets. So good on those. Oh wait, <laughs> then <laughs> had a Victoria's Secret gift card and I just bought another pair of sweatpants because who goes there for bras anymore? Um, I don't, so I did buy another pair of sweatpants. Um, don't know how these are gonna fit, but I, I just got them in a small because they're super oversized. Um, yeah, so I got them in this like orangey color. 
I went to went to Sephora as well. Um, we did find this like scalp exfoliating scrub. So we're gonna try that out and see how it goes. I think that'll be nice. And then I really went there for um, some eyebrow stuff. I've never used like an eyebrow pencil, but I'm trying to grow my eyebrows out. Um, and I kind of feel like they're in that really awkward stage where I really want to just like pluck them and shape them, but I'm trying to not do that. So I feel like kind of like filling them in a little bit will kind of help get through that awkward like growth phase. And then um, I got a glossy lip balm, and this is all. This, these are both from Rare Beauty. Um, that's the makeup line I, I'm currently using. So I got it in these. It's kind of like a neutral color. It has a gloss. Thought this would be pretty. Um, I tend to like neutral stuff for right now, and I do prefer glosses. Is books all that's left? Books. Yeah, books. I just want to show my stuff. Yeah. Great right. shorts. It's my turn. I'm again. <laughs> no. Of course, we took a trip to Barnes and Noble since it happens to be at the mall, and I got two books. Shouldn't have, but did. But any time I see a Penelope Douglas book, I automatically get it. Get out of my frame. <laughs> Anytime I get a Penelope, <laughs> anytime I see a Penelope Douglas book, I automatically pick it up. Um, so I got Misconduct. I haven't heard much about this one, but I'm pretty sure it is like a teacher-parent romance. Um, so it's kind of like that taboo type romance, but not too taboo. So we'll see how this one goes. I haven't really heard a lot about it, but it's Penelope Douglas, so I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And then I've been wanting this one for so long and the Barnes & Noble that I typically go to never has the first book, but this Barnes & Noble had it. And so that is the Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. Um, I believe this one focuses on like a group of guys who are in a book club and it's like each book is from a different guy's point of view following their romance. But I think that they have like a book club where they read romances, I'm pretty sure. so. I've been seeing this one for a while, been wanting to read it for a while, so I'm glad that I finally picked up the first book. Um, I think that is it for this haul. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. So <laughs> now we are just gonna kinda wind down for the night. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get any reading done. I did read about 50 pages of House of Sky and Breath yesterday. Um, but other than that, I've just kind of been like, wait, sorry. No, I read 50 pages on Friday because yesterday we were hiking all day. So um, I might try to read tonight, but I do want to get a little bit more editing done on one of the vlogs that needs to go up this week. So might push off reading for during the week. We'll see. But that is pretty much the update for today. It was a fun day. Glad we got to go out. I am finally going to wrap up this vlog, guys. So let's start real quick. Please excuse the washer going in the background. It's a small apartment. No matter where I go, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to hear it. But I wanted to quickly wrap this up so I can start editing this and getting it up to y'all. But I didn't end up vlogging Monday and Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Um, I, <laughs> of course, some more stuff came up. Um, so the starter on my truck went out, which is fun. Um, so right now I don't have a car. So it's just kind of, I've been trying to figure out like what to do about getting that fixed. Luckily, Peter's brother um, can replace it for me. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna save a little money on that. So hopefully it's easy and quick and done, but he can't do it till this weekend. The part doesn't come in until tomorrow. So I'm really hoping that that is, fixed by this weekend so that I can have my truck back but it's been such a pain especially like with the fact that I have to go to campus so today I gotta go to campus um I can't go to work so I have to work from home today it's just a whole a whole dang mess I hate not having a car 
but I also don't want to spend the money to take it into a shop. I know that they could probably get it done in like a day, but I don't have that kind of money to spare. So I'm not, I'm just gonna wait, be patient and save a little bit of moolah. So that's what's happening. That's what's been happening. I have read a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Um, obviously it was a pretty busy weekend we went hiking we um had like basically like a date weekend so i didn't get a lot of reading done we did a little bit of reading together but for the most part i feel like we were out and about over the weekend so i did not get as much reading done as i wanted to but that is okay i still got to page 290 and i think i was like on page like 200 maybe a little bit past 200 hopefully this weekend i can get some more but still feeling the same it's fun to watch i feel like things are starting to move and i'm hoping some some more action starts taking place really soon but um that is the only progress that i made reading i didn't pick up my audiobook because why would i um i freaking podcast i need to stop listening to the podcast overall it was a really great weekend i had so much fun it was nice to get out of the apartment and go do things we typically uh, me and peter typically don't have weekends off together so it was kind of nice to finally have one after him being here for so long it it was great um hopefully we have more of those at some point but uh yeah it was nice to get out and go like away so that is all i have for this vlog thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry there wasn't a lot of bookish stuff it was definitely more of like an out and about type of vlog but i hope that y'all enjoy this i do want to start incorporating some more lifestyle into this along with like the bookish stuff but yeah that is it that's all I have for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.